my channel. In today's video, I will be doing an initial review of the Zoe wallet from Louis Vuitton. Um, this will be my second um, video in my Lux Love series, but this is the first video where I'm doing an initial review. And before I go any further, um, I know in my last video, when I was talking about my Louis Vuitton Neverfull, I mentioned that a YSL bag initial review was coming soon, and it is, I promise. But the only reason I'm doing this initial review before that one, and I kind of already wore it um, in New York, we'll talk about that later. But the only reason I'm doing this initial review before I get to that one is because I just purchased this item like two days ago and it's still in its initial packaging and before I take it out and start wearing it I wanted to just do an initial review because I already wore my YSL bag in New York and I also purchased this item there but I have not worn it yet so or used it yet so um I wanted to just get a video with like the original packaging and everything because I can't guarantee that for every single um, piece that I'm gonna put on the series because some things you know I've had for a while some things like the YSL bag that I've already kind of worn but I still have the packaging and stuff but it's not like you know the original packaging so I'm not gonna you know keep going on and on let's hop into the initial review of my Zoe wallet so before I get into the actual unboxing portion which like I said before I can't always guarantee that there's gonna be like this you know grand unboxing because this is not gonna be the case all the time but um, I will have the wallet linked down in the description box um, anytime I feature a piece in one of my Lux Love videos I will at least try to have it links well something will be linked in the description it will either be the exact piece or something really really close um but yeah so this piece let me get it this piece like i said is from louis vuitton it was purchased in the tyson's galleria in is that virginia i've been like everywhere in the past few days i've been to new york dc virginia maryland so I was everywhere. I'm pretty sure that the Tyson's Gallery where I purchased this was in Virginia. It's a whole thing with the DMV. Um, so this is the bag that it came in. This side is a little crushed because I carried this in my carry-on, which was my never full, like I told you, perfect for traveling. Um, so it you know got a little banged up, but the box Ooh. hold on the box is still intact so just some things before I get into the unboxing um, like I said this was an in-store purchase um, I can't remember the ticket price but it basically came up to $500 pretty much after tax $500 um, and another thing that I really like about this piece is it goes really well with my Louis Vuitton key holder. I have, they have a four, four key and a six key holder. I have the six key holder, um, which has also been acting as my wallet because when you have the six key, you can put cards um, behind the keys. So I pretty much just been using it for my everyday wallet wear, even though it's not a wallet. So I just went ahead and bought an actual wallet. Um, and they are very similar because I got the Damier Abin um, print with the Rose Ballerine color selection, which is the same as my key holder, the outside, which I will be doing, of course, a, um, I will be doing a worth it or wasted on my key holder, but it's in the front of the house and I just, you know, I'm in the filming mood and don't want to get up, honestly. So this matches that. They don't look exactly the same. When I do that video on the worth it or wasted, I will definitely hold them side by side for you guys so you can see, um, you know, everything that they have in common. 
Um, but the reason I got this wallet, um, one was because I didn't want to keep using my key holder. I didn't want to age it more than I needed to be aged. Of course, it's holding up well and everything like that, but I just wanted to have a wallet that I used as a wallet and just use my key holder specifically for my keys. Um, I've wanted this wallet for a little bit of time. I've wanted this wallet for about like a month. Um, and then I saw it in the store and they had it. Um, I went into Saks in New Orleans to try to get this wallet, but they only had it in the monogram um, print. And I wanted the Damier Aben to match my key holder. And when I went to the one in Virginia, they had it, so I had to get it. So um, if you're unfamiliar with how Louis Vuitton pieces come, they always come pretty much like this, just obviously in different sizes. Um, you're gonna get your receipt in this thing right here. Um, so it has my, I spent $4.92. And I also have the card for the girl who helped me. She was super helpful. Um, she also left her a number. Um, if you're unfamiliar with, you know, like luxury shopping and things of that nature, in stores they'll have like their associates and they'll have cell phones that are directly used for helping the customers for that brand. So um, her name was Katrina. And so basically if I wanted to find a piece and it wasn't in my local Saks and it wasn't in my local Louis Vuitton, I could text her and say, hey, do y'all have this bag? Or I can text her and say, hey, can you find this bag for me? Um, put my card on file and she'll find it, charge my card and ship it to me for free. So that's how it works. Um, I know for sure with Louis Vuitton um, and I'm pretty sure with other luxury places, Gucci, Chanel, um, YSL, they offer the same type of services. So <laughs> luxury shopping, is amazing honestly so that's what this is so I have her card and her number which I will be putting in my phone sweetie and now for the unboxing I haven't seen it since actually no the one that I bought wasn't out on display I looked at the one that was on display and they got me a new one from the back so um also Louis Vuitton things come out like this um i still have the original packaging for uh my never well my never full but we already did that video but i do have my sneakers and in the box it comes out like this it's not like a sneaker box that you open so they do like to feature this pull out in a lot of their packaging well mostly all of it so you pull it out Also, the smell of new luxury goods is kind of addicting. Not even gonna lie. Like, I'm probably gonna smell this directly for a minute. So, and then it also comes with this dust bag. And then you take the dust bag out. And here is the beauty in all of her glory so there's a few reasons why i went with this wallet this size things of that nature so they have this wallet as well as an assortment of wallets in the long size you know like a long wallet um i went back and forth with myself for a while as to whether i wanted a long or a compact wallet and i went with compact and here is why so basically basically convenience um i want i wanted a wallet that i did not have to keep changing depending on the purse i was wearing and i do wear purses a lot so and i do change my purses so that's important to me the versatility and the sizing that allows me to pretty much virtually have the same wallet in every single purse and not have to keep switching that what I, that's what I was looking for. The problem that I was running into was I was coming across luxury wallets that did not have everything I needed in a compact wallet. Um, 
it was just more like a card holder type and that's not what I wanted I wanted the full bang in the small size and that is exactly what I got so we're gonna do the you know initial review here even though I pretty much know everything there is to know about this wallet because I do my research before I buy luxury pieces but for you guys sake this is the wallet this is the Louis Vuitton Damier Aben print so whenever you see this more chocolate brown color that's Damier Aben my never fool from the last video is the monogram print and when you see Louis Vuitton when it's that white and blue color that's Damier Azure Azure <laughs> So, okay, and then this is the Rose Ballerine. It comes in, I think, a dark pink, yellow, blue. It's like a mustard yellow. Blue, of course y'all know, I went with pink. So we're gonna start from the outside. When you turn it around, you have a pocket right here, which is very convenient. So anything that you need to hurry up and get to quickly all the time, can definitely go in there and let's get into the inside so um this week i'm going to be taking this to my local louis vuitton so i can have it hot stamped um another thing when you buy louis vuitton pieces you can bring them louis vuitton they don't hot stamp every day so you have to call and see when your local louis vuitton hot stamps but you know when you buy things like this you can definitely have your initials hot stamped on the inside so this week i'll be going have my initials hot stamped i was gonna have it done in virginia but i wouldn't have been able to pick it up until the next day which is today and we left today i just got home a few hours ago so i couldn't do that because i wasn't staying in virginia i was just in virginia at the time but anyway so this is the inside of the wallet and so here are the reasons why i went with this wallet i can put cash like I said, all of the designer wallets I was coming across, they were basically card holders. Like you just slip some cards and that was it. I needed somewhere where I could put my cash in a way that I can see it, lay it how I want, and have it organized. Second reason, there's a coin section. And this was also very important to me. So I wanted to, what is this? No, oh, just a little card, it's whatever. I wanted a fully functional wallet in a compact size and that is exactly what I got. So um, here is the space that you get in the wallet, pretty ample, significant space. Um, just with some coins and then you have these slots here so you can fit, I can fit everything I need for a wallet in here. Who is calling me? I can fit everything I need for a wallet in here and have ample space and everything like that. So, in conclusion, I am absolutely in love with this purchase. I have absolutely no regrets, but I do promise to come back in a few months and let you guys know whether it's worth it or wasted. Um, so yeah, final look. Side profile. And yeah, so that's it for my initial review for the wallet. But um, next, I'll just go ahead and give you guys a preview of what to expect next on my Lux Love series. And that will definitely be, I promise, the YSL bag initial review because I don't want to keep wearing it and um I haven't reviewed it yet for you guys so that is next I will most likely do that in the coming days um you like I'm probably gonna wear it tomorrow the the colorway of that bag matches a lot of my clothes so it's definitely one of my recent go-to's um but yeah you guys thank you so much for tuning into this video make sure you give me a like 
a comment down below and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see every single time that I upload. I'm really excited about this series Lux Love. I absolutely love it and I just love sharing things with you guys because when I'm looking for luxury pieces and I find one that I really like, I like to go to YouTube and find as many videos as I can about it, get people's opinions, get um like a real up close experience with it at well virtually and just see for myself because pictures can only do so much so yeah that's why I always will have something either the exact thing or something similar to it linked down below in the description box also in the description box below you can find my blog morganintime.com pretty soon I do plan on doing a post on my blog about luxury pieces how to build your own collection things that you can look out for and just building a collection that works for you so make sure you check the link down below in the description box and subscribe to the blog so you can see whenever I post something new again thank you so much for tuning into this video for making it this far I really hope you like these videos let me know down below um, if you like this series so far and also another little preview the renovation series will be starting very very soon i'm super excited and we are just gonna have really so much fun on this channel i hope you guys can see my recent consistency and i will see you in the next video